Rules of Acquisition is the seventh episode of the second season of the American science fiction television series Star Trek – Deep Space Nine. It is the 27th episode overall. Quark acts as the Grand Nagus representative in what appears to be a plot to establish a Ferengi business presence in the Gamma Quadrant. Plot <laughs> <laughs> Grand Nagus Zek plans to establish a Ferengi business presence in the Gamma Quadrant and wants to purchase a large amount of tulaberry wine from a species called the Dosi. Zek enlists Quark as his representative and Quark asks Pell, one of his Ferengi waiters, to be his assistant. Unbeknownst to Quark, Pell is a female. Ferengi females are not allowed to wear clothing, earn money, or leave Ferenhinar, so she is forced to keep her identity a secret. However, Pell proves to be a valuable assistant. At the meeting with the Dosi, Quark and Pell request 10,000 vats of wine, but the Dosi offer them half that. They are close to making a deal when Zek informs Quark that he now wants 100,000 vats. When Quark tells the Dosi what Zek said, they leave the station. Zek is furious but Pell steps in and informs him that she and Quark plan to follow the Dosi back to the Gamma Quadrant. The two of them travel to the Dosi homeworld and find that the Dosi have a Ferengi-like desire for profit and Klingon-like tempers. The Dosi from whom Quark and Pell were originally going to buy the wine still refuses their offer. Another Dosi informs them that the entire planet does not have 100,000 vats of tulaberry wine, but she offers to put them in contact with another race she calls the Karema, for a price. The Karema are a powerful member of what the Dosi calls the Dominion, and when Quark and Pell hear the name, they realize Zek's true intentions. He has no interest in Tulaburi wine, he wants to find out more about the Dominion. Although they return to the station empty-handed, Zek tells Quark and Pell that he intentionally requested more wine than the Dosi could provide in order to make contact with someone from the Dominion. Unfortunately, while Quark and Pell were gone, Rom discovered Pell's true identity. He tells Quark, who instantly faints. When he wakes up, Quark orders Rom not to tell anyone, knowing his own career would be ruined. Pell later reveals her identity to Zek herself, but when Zek threatens to put Quark and Pell in prison, he realizes that he too did business with Pell. The group decides to keep Pell's identity a secret and she leaves to make a new life in the Gamma Quadrant. Notes At one point, Pell asks Quark if he knows what the 103rd rule of acquisition is. Pell begins it by saying, "...sleep can interfere with..." and is then interrupted by Quark. Rules of Acquisition 103. Sleep can interfere with opportunity. In the book, The Ferengi Rules of Acquisition, ISBN 0 671 52936 6, Rule 103 does not appear at all. This episode marks the first mention of the Dominion.